Manage Engine Vulnerability Manager Plus is a prioritization-driven threat and vulnerability management solution for enterprises with built-in remediation. This video covers how you can utilize Vulnerability Manager Plus to discover vulnerabilities, put them in context to discover their impact and urgency, and swiftly remediate the imminent vulnerabilities with a built-in patching workflow. Let's start with the Vulnerabilities Dashboard. This features a variety of graphs, a matrix, and trends that visualize the vulnerabilities detected in your network in multiple contexts, including severity, age, exploitability, and so on. With the clickable widgets located on the top bar, you can discover at a glance the total number of vulnerabilities in your network, how many of them can be remediated directly from the console, and how many of them have available links to manual resolutions. If you'd like to see the most recent vulnerabilities discovered in the last n number of days, go to the drop-down menu and choose the desired number of days. The total number of vulnerabilities discovered in the selected number of days will be reflected here. The Vulnerability Severity Summary tracks the number of vulnerabilities you need to resolve in each severity level. You can also use the filter to display only vulnerabilities that have public exploits. Select any part of the pie chart to see the list of vulnerabilities belonging to that category. The Vulnerability Age Matrix lays out the vulnerabilities in a table format, where the rows represent vulnerability age and the columns represent severity levels to help direct your attention to impactful and imminent vulnerabilities. You can either choose to view the vulnerability age from the day it's published or from the day it's discovered in your network. One of the most crucial aspects of a security vulnerability assessment is how effectively your vulnerability assessment tool keeps you informed of zero-day vulnerabilities. The zero-day vulnerabilities chart provides an instant look into how many zero days and publicly disclosed vulnerabilities have been identified in your network. Clicking the pie chart takes you to a dedicated view on zero-day and publicly disclosed vulnerabilities so they don't get buried among less critical issues. Clicking fix will resolve them either by applying corresponding patches if available, or by issuing alternate mitigation workarounds. A quick glance at the vulnerability trend can give you an idea of how well your vulnerability management efforts are paying off. Track your vulnerability assessment progress and stay on top of vulnerabilities. How secure would you feel if you could just bring the number of vulnerabilities close to, if not to, zero? The High Priority Vulnerabilities section automatically curates a list of vulnerabilities that are on the verge of exploitation. This list is sorted based on how easily exploitable a vulnerability is, its severity, age, and patch availability. Furthermore, you can view the vulnerable software titles and the number of total and critical vulnerabilities in each of the software listed. Next is the Vulnerabilities tab where you can find all the vulnerabilities that are discovered in your network. For each of these vulnerabilities, you can see how many systems are affected, the exploit status, the availability of a patch, and CVSS scores. There are also various filters to narrow down your list based on factors like severity or the availability of an exploit. When you select an item from the list, a flyout panel opens up to offer useful intel. Type in the CVE ID to find a particular vulnerability you're looking for, or click the search icon, select CVE type, and pick the type of impact to view vulnerabilities associated with it. Remember, Vulnerability Manager Plus allows you to wipe out all the selected vulnerabilities from all affected machines with just a single patch deployment task. Once you've picked the issues you want to resolve, you can go ahead and deploy patches to them. As soon as you click Install Patch, a patch deployment configuration is created with an automatically curated list of affected machines and the patches required to resolve the vulnerabilities in them. You can specify a name for the task, as well as view and edit the list of automatically curated patches. You can define a latency after which the deployment should be processed, and even set an expiry date and time for the task. Now, choose a deployment policy that best suits your needs. Deployment policies let you have more nuanced control, including setting up deployment windows, customizing reboot, installing patches during system setup, or enabling users to postpone reboot until a specified time. Here, you can find a list of flexible policies created by you, as well as other admins or technicians in your organization. If none fit your configuration, you can create a new one from scratch. You also have the ability to granularly control target machines or groups. Configure whether to retry failed deployments in target machines, enable notifications, and much more. In the final step, you can choose to deploy as per the deployment policy specified earlier, or you can push patches at once, remediate the vulnerabilities, and close the vulnerability management gap. Once deployed, users can always view the live status of the deployment in the task execution view. What are you waiting for? 
Run a vulnerability assessment now with a free 30-day trial of Vulnerability Manager Plus and reinforce your cyber resilience to save yourself from joining other victims of cyber casualties.